Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, um, I've just come to the realization that I've actually never taken a look at the Odins and the Lokis. I, I never even bothered to look at them. Like, I, I don't even have any idea what their skills do. Um, ever since the update. I, like, in the back of my mind, I thought I always reviewed them because I, I did a patch note, um, review, like, a few days ago when the patch actually came out. But it turns out the, their skills, like, wasn't, wasn't announced yet. And I, I never actually take taken a look at their skills. I have no idea what they actually do. So we're going to take a look at all their skills and um, yeah, just do a review video. Also I'm feeling like super, I'm feeling a lot better. Like ever since, I think the medicine that I took is like taking effect. It's like, it's making me super tired, but like I don't, I don't feel any pain or anything like that. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna start with the Lokis and we're gonna look at the Odins. So the Lokis, um, do they have any sort of variant skills? They have oh they have a defense a global variant skill for defense. This is this is really nice. Thirty to thirty six percent. Also, um, it's also a sapper, so sap, saps are always nice. You could actually run his leader and it's gonna be very good for B ten if like Golem's B ten um, if you're just running him for saps. 60% chance to inflict two types of sap and 80% chance to inflict um, you know one sap for two turns. So that's that's pretty good. He's definitely stronger than the well actually no, like if you take into account like the water yuki who has 60% chance to land two saps on her first skill. Um I don't know, like 20% chance to to land one sap or 60% like 20% chance more but one less sap or 20% ch chance less for two saps. I guess, I guess it's kind of th about the same. Like it'll it'll even out um, eventually. But he does have the superior variant skill. This is also very very nice for sappers because if you're running any sap team, you're definitely gonna be running those teams and making them as, as tanky as possible. So let's look at the water one as well. Um, the water one has hunter and thirst. Hunter. Hunter is always really nice. Like Hunter is a very very strong skill for for any monster, but you know it's it's especially strong for for dark type monsters. Hunter is basically just increased crit damage by 50%, makes you makes you hit harder. Like there's not that much to say about it. Um, Thirst 100% chance to reduce the target's skill gauge by 30% for two turns. That's that's always nice to have as well. Like just 100% is also also really nice. Does, is it for all foes? Yeah. Reducing everybody's skill gauge by 30%, 100% is actually really good. The wood one has death break, 70%. Death break is also one of the strongest debuffs in the game. Um, sleep for 70% chance. Not too sure about this. This this is probably one of the weaker ones. Um, I would say probably the fire one's really really good for for sapping. I'm not too sure. So take a look at the light and dark. 70% chance attack down one turn. Um, death break 70% chance for two turns. That's actually really good. This is this is always a really strong skill set. Anything with attack down and death break is a strong monster. Just just know that. Like any monster in the game with attack down and death break is is good. Oh, he has seal. Nice, nice. They're introducing more and more seal units. Seal and aggression. That's that's really really strong. Um, this is definitely yeah HP aggression and he's dark type. This is definitely uh, going to be one of the stronger units for PvP in the future if anyone happens to be able to to get this guy. Definitely going to be really, really strong. So let's take a look at the Odins. Odins, defense, uh, defense down, attack down. As I just said, as I just mentioned just now, uh, any monster with defense down and attack down is definitely a strong monster. Anything with this skill set doesn't matter which, if they have defense down or attack down on their first skill. I think ideally defense down on first skill is definitely stronger, but having an AoE attack down is always really really nice. 80% chance, 2 turns, really high activation rate. Also the Odins also have a 70, 40 to 45 percent chance, uh, 44 to 45 percent variant skill for HP and Astromon League. So. Uh, definitely top tier. Like if you can get one one of the Odins as a variant, definitely gonna be really really strong for for Arena. And she's tank type too, so I guess if you can get the Fire Odin, run her leader. Basically, uh, like Wood Leo 2.0, but like even stronger. What's the Water one do? 100% stun, 70% stun. Actually, I might like this one a little bit more. I, I really really like stunners. Like I like I like anything with 100% stun on first skill. I like I like stunning the shit out of my enemy. 
I think this is gonna be... If you can get the fire or water one as a variant, holy shit, it's gonna be insane for Arena. Even if you don't get them as a variant, it's still gonna be very, very strong. HP Siphon, um, and Defense Down. I, I'm, I think he's an attacker, yeah, this is an attacker type, or she's an attacker. Um, wait, the Evil 2 actually does look better. Maybe that's because I like sexy clothing. I'm serious though, the Evil 2 version looks way better than the Evil 3 version. Um, I guess this is pretty nice, like, always having HP Siphon. Um, HP Siphon is pretty strong, it's like basically, you know, the same skill like the, the Wild Fangs have, um, Bolt Wings have, basically just restores your HP based on damage. And anything with defense down is also very, very strong. AoE Death Break is 80% is chance AoE Death Break is really, really good. What about the light? Um, sap and Adrenaline. Attacks restore allies HP at 10% of own max. So this is very, very similar to like the Water Nightmare second skill. 100% um, sap for, for one turn. I guess it's okay. It's not like, it's not like super, super strong. Oh, Battle Rush defense down. Holy shit, this is gonna be really, really strong. Yeah, if you can get if you can get the Fire, Water, or Dark Odin, you can get any of them as a variant. Holy shit, it's gonna be it's top tier arena. Top tier arena bullshit right there. Um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get one in the future. I don't know, I, my summoning luck's pretty shitty like these days, but whatever. Let's. It, it is what it is. Um, hopefully in the future, I'll like once I start farming B10, I'll get a lot more eggs, and hopefully from some of those eggs, I'll be able to get some Nat fives, you know. So I'm I'm pretty glad they're introducing some some pretty pretty useful monsters in the game. I would have liked them to like have more seals because this way it just it makes the like I want the meta to change. I don't want people to keep stacking like aggression like over and over. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.